Okay, hey, it is me, Uranium Hexafluoride here, and um, so for my first video, I wanted to do a unit that was um, that's pretty cool, but um, but uh, I mean I didn't want to do something like the Trooper because everyone has those things. Those are they're not the coolest unit to review. So I decided to do um, one of my favorites uh, is the first promo I've got, uh, the Aero Jetpack Trooper. So, um, these guys are very powerful. They can dish out a nice amount of damage with uh, their two attacks. They do have one downside, though, or, I mean, one of their big downsides, downsides is that they are considered both ground and air units, so they can be hit by almost every attack in the game. And uh, that, that, is, uh, that is uh, really annoying, because um, the, uh, the UH-1B's uh, anti-air attack can hit these guys, and that, that attack does a fair amount of damage. I mean, not just a fair amount, it does, it does insane damage against air units, so... I mean, okay, they do have resistances to uh, piercing damage. Well, not, not, their, not their health, their, just their armor. So the attack will take them down pretty easily, I'm assuming. I haven't uh, tried it yet. Um, but, so, um, I'm gonna, I'll, so let's look at the two attacks now. So, the first attack is called Big Bertha. It, uh, it does, dishes out a fair amount of damage. It does explosive damage, so, uh, that's always nice because not many units have, uh, have resistances to explosive damage. It has really nice armor piercing of, uh, 75%, and against vehicles, if you combine the base crit, percentage and the uh, crit versus vehicle percentage you get a 50% crit rate that's really nice um, their second attack the second attack is called stinger missiles now this attack is very scattered but you're pretty much you're almost guaranteed to hit the space that you target but occasionally it does miss uh, it has a nice space crit um, it doesn't have any armor piercing or stuff like that but it does do a nice amount of damage so, um, so I'm going to show you uh, show you these guys in action against some mammoths I like to use mammoths to test out units um... what should I put in? I I'll just put in a crop buster. That thing needs skill points anyways and I don't use it anywhere else so so the Big Breath attack does have a prep time of one turn but you can still use the stinger missiles on the first uh... on the first round Okay, I'll turn that down a bit. So, as you can see, it did um, it did scatter the damage a bit around the field, uh, but it did hit the mammoth that I targeted. And now this is the big burst attack. That did a nice amount of damage, but mammoths do have uh, they do have resistances to explosive damage. So it would do more if, it's a go if it goes up against a vehicle. Uh, I'll try that uh, after I defeat these guys, though. So the other downside is that th this attack has a 7 turn reload time. It only has 1 ammo, which really stinks. So uh, I'll just try and take these guys out. And occasionally, all the, all the Stinger missiles hit one spot, and that, that'll, take, uh, that'll take almost anything out. It, it does really good. It does a really good job at uh, eliminating units with that attack. And whatever. Yeah, I'll use the crop buster. Just so that it can get skill points. <clears throat> Let's look. Okay. So, um... In the comments below, you guys can uh, can put what unit you want me to review next. Um, there are some units that I don't have though. I don't have any legendary mammoths. I don't have uh, a lot, basically any promo before the um, the air jetpack uh, other than the dead eye. I've got eight of those dead eyes. I got them all from the vaults. Uh, don't know why I always get dead eyes from the vaults, but. I do. If there's a dead eye in the vault, I always get at least one dead eye that secret vault. If I if I do the secret vault, but yeah, it gets it's gotten kind of annoying. But uh, I found good ways to use them. I'll definitely do a review on them, cause I have no shortage of dead eyes. That's 
That's for sure. All right, so now I'm going to try it out against some rebels because they uh this this can uh how you see how um how they're good against vehicles. Oh yeah, this is a good formation because it has some tanks, aircraft. Uh it's good against infantry too. So here um what should I put The nice thing is that even though these guys are, uh, they're, I don't know why, they uh, automatically go into the middle row because they work really well in the back row because, um, just because that's an e that's a nicer place for, the, for them to be because not as many units can hit the back row as the middle row. <clears throat> Got some mech troopers here, it's always good to have those guys. got to get used to this uh, scrolling on the computer. I normally just play on my phone, but since Apple made it so that you can't record on your phone, on your iPhone, I have to I, I do it on a computer. I have to do it on uh, an iMac instead. So yeah, got to get used to that. It's going to take some getting used to, but bear with me. Okay. Critters, gotta just throw in some, gotta throw in a legendary boar. Alright, so uh, I'm gonna wait for the, actually no, I'll just use the stingers. No, no, I'll actually take out, I'll freeze, I'll freeze the heavy chems. Those are, those are problematic. Alright, so uh, it's frozen, it should do a lot more damage. All right. Oh wow, 325 without a crit. That's really good. All right. It's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. All right, stinger missiles. So um, it's also really good at taking down air units. Um, so that's another uh, pro. I mean, it'd be kind of ironic if this unit couldn't hit air because it has a jetpack. And I, don't know, I just think that if something has a jetpack, it probably should be able to hit air units. Um, I'll definitely be doing a review on the legendary boar here. Uh, ooh, I don't want to lose it. Uh, I don't want to lose the legendary boar. Right. All right. Let's see how many units I can take out with the uh, big Bertha. Sorry if I'm bad. If uh, my commentary is not too interesting, this is my first commentary. Um, well, with a, at least with doing battle nation stuff. Um, I actually do have another channel. I. Uh, before this, I made uh, science videos. I still do. Um, it's just I'm uh, I'm going to be running two channels now. I'll put the I actually put the link to my uh, other channel in the description below. So if you want to check it out, uh, feel free. So uh, that was the Air Jetpack Trooper. As you saw, it did some pretty nice damage against those vehicles. What's this? Full screen. Oh, whatever. Full screen. Whatever. So. Um, so, uh, that's my first video. If, um, if you guys, uh, would be kind enough to, uh, leave a like and a subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, please tell me what I can improve on and what units you want me to review next. Thanks for watching. Bye.